one of the most heavily traveled trails in Miles Standish State Forest will be getting some much needed repairs done to a couple of its boardwalks. After applying for and receiving a grant from the state's Department of Conservation and Recreation, the plan is to move forward with this project. We spoke with two members of the Friends of the Miles Standish State Forest to get the details. The idea first came to us last May when we were here for our 10th anniversary meeting of the Friends and our old president, Charles Heller, suggested and said, hey, why don't you guys think about doing this project? And we thought, well, hey, why the heck not? So we applied for the grant and here we are today. It's a little project. We are going to simply be replacing two of the boardwalk covers that have rotted out or nearly rotting out. Uh, there's 500 boards, more or less. About half of them are in bad condition. We applied for a grant with, with the DCR to help with the funding. We're going to put in about 2000 The DCR is going to match us two for one. So that gives us a nice $6,000 budget. We think we'll come in well under budget, but, uh, but at this point we're, we're ready to go ahead. The East Side Reservoir Trail is the most popular in the whole forest. It's a two and a half mile loop around the East Side Reservoir. It's beautiful and it's just a, a, a great trail to walk for any age. Uh, we've done a lot of work on improving that trail and now this boardwalk project is the next piece to uh, make it a, a better trail. The Friends have uh, about 100 volunteers. We are hoping to get at least 10 or 15 of them to come with us in April to work on replacing these boards. So we figure crews of two will be able to do like 10 boards an hour. So we think we're going to need a couple of uh, weekends to get this project done. We're a volunteer organization and DCR has uh, always worked with us to do projects with them. And one of the things they've asked us to do is improve the trail system. So we've done a, a lot of that in the past 10 years. When we first became a group in 2007, we had about seven miles of trails in the forest that were poorly maintained. Now we're approaching 27 miles. We have more projects in the pipeline. So we have a vision of improving what we have and then adding to a network of trails throughout Plymouth Carver and Wareham. People walk away thinking that this park that is so fabulous, that is the jewel in the DCR crown of parks in Eastern Massachusetts, that this most hiked trail is open and they're going to enjoy it and I mean it's you know dozens of people are out there every day so we're looking forward to that. <laughs>